AI or whatever, be, make sure you you don't look into the camera, okay? okay. And I'm not joking. <laughs> Sometimes people get very nervous. Okay, my name is Dr. Lee. Thank you very much for coming. A lot of people have been here before. So we're going to start with something that um, I'm going to make you work for. And who wants to grow, not this way, don't worry. <laughs> All the women are freaking out. <laughs> not that way. But if you are going to grow in a visual way. Okay, so anybody interested? And you can actually change a lot of your, uh, can I say this? Your, um, what you want in your life. You can actually do more. I actually teach 86 classes, and um, there are 85 of them are based on uh, visualization techniques. So this is one that has been backed by our Stanford University. So who here is left-handed? Anybody? Good. Okay. It kind of gets confusing if it's left. So everybody who's right-handed, I presume all of you, you're going to um, concentrate on your, I'll do it first, middle finger on the right hand, okay? And you're going to look at your finger and you're going to twist as far as you can go, mark how far you've gone, come back and drop your arms. Go ahead. Go Don't take anybody's eyes out. Okay, twist as much as you can. Go right. That's right. Go right, right. And stay in one place though. And mark how far you've gone. Come back and drop your arms. Okay, great. Now, don't do it physically. Close your eyes. I want you to visualize it. Don't worry if you don't see it. But visualize yourself going all the way around. No, just phys not physically in your mind. Close your eyes and go all the way around and then come all the way back. Okay? When you've done that, open your eyes. Good. Okay, now do it again physically and see where you've landed. Okay, everybody went a tiny bit, sometimes a bit further. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, sit down. That, doesn't that work in less than a minute, right? So it shows how powerful your mind is. Um, and it's about your, your mind does not know the difference between an actual event and a made up event. So you can do a lot, and of course at this point everybody's saying, oh, where's my um, you know, map quest to uh, Las Vegas, because I'm gonna visualize a few more. You can do it, and I'm not advocating you don't, but anything you've got, be careful what you visualize. And I always say that in my class call, um, sorry, um, my um, candle lesson, which I have online. By the way, I've got a book, okay. And if anybody's interested in receiving the links on YouTube and predictions, you're welcome to put a pen in there if you want, and I'll send you the links. Um, and but, all right, so do you, who knows what a claircognitive is? I know one, two people know here. I guess three people. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, quickly go over. A medium communicates with people who passed on to the other side. A um, uh, let's see, a psychic. Well, Quite frankly, that's kind of a bit of a catch-all. Some of them go there. Um, and a clairvoyant receives messages through pictures. A clear um, audio hears it. A clear sentient feels it. Um, I feel that sometimes you can be a bit too intense as gentlemen. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You love to study, but you are a bit sometimes too intense. You need to kind of kick back and have some fun a bit. Okay. I know you're having fun here. I hope. So okay. Um, anyway, so feeling. Um, so I'm all of that, plus I get it in taste, and I get it in um, uh, taste and fit, how can I say it? Um, smell, and uh, other ways. I know it sounds strange, and that's the way I read. I'm very, very quick, as a few people know, uh, this is how I read, and that's the only time I hesitate, because I have to change, I have to uh, convert the the taste or the smell into words. Okay, um, and if you are going for a reading, it's um, actually, I will go backwards whether you like it or not. Uh, and that's important because uh, you need to know that you're speaking one that I, you know, I know what I'm talking about, not just making things up in the air. Um, and that you, uh, that, that's one reason, but the main reason is that the times that I'm bringing up are actually related to where you are now. So there is co-behavior or something that you've got to build a bridge that you haven't yet addressed, okay? So that's all of that. And what we're going to do, discuss quickly today is 2013 and 2014. Now my, um, 
Predictions of 2012 came 98% true, I'm afraid. I'll say I'm afraid because I know Debbie knows. I'm kind of known as kind of not Debbie Downer, but in a way, I had a lot of the catastrophes. And it wasn't to kind of say, oh God, this is going to happen and I'm going to freak out. It's to give you information that will make you proactive and not take the fear out of it. So you know what's going to be expected. So don't stop fearing it, okay? 20, um, this year, 2013, I'm afraid um, it's coming up now, 12, 21, 12. I did a quick video, I think it was just before a radio show um, that I did internationally. And I started saying, and I was, you can see it, it's on part of the um, links, that I kind of, mm, and odd, which annoy people, too bad, go to another video, I haven't got time for you, I don't care, it's an English thing. Um, but quite frankly, I was ooming and eyeing, and I said, well, I hate to say it, there's going to be a lot more shootings this year. And the, the very next day it happened, Newtown. Now, how many shootings has happened? Every other day, I hate to say, every other week is going on. And I'm not just talking America, I'm talking about worldwide too. And so, you know, I have to let people know um, uh, that this is all part of this energy change. I am doing a book, I'm hoping to get it out by January, I was hoping by the end, hello, um, by the end of January, and it's not a book of just predictions. There are two parts to it. There are predictions for the people who want the predictions. Um, I will be doing a big video. It will be over an hour long because it's going all over the It's for different world, um, different countries all over the world. Um, so it's not just local because there are so many of my um, subscribers that they're all over and they want, you know, what about here? What about this? Um, so I try and, I don't do specific, but it's most concentrated in America. So, 2013 um, happened, and I did say um, E5, E5s, five, I predicted three. Two came true, I'm afraid. But I really feel that an E4 was like a near, thank you, a near a E5. So uh, we had more tornadoes than we've ever had, well, not ever, but that's what we call. Um, and the E4s have actually increased as well. Um, I also uh, put down on the um, earthquakes, so now don't freak out, but um, if you follow USGS, um, I did say, and I always say, it, it's called a drop H, so here's America, and what I say is a drop H pattern, which is a lot on the west coast, which is obviously the majority, but we are getting more, get what? and I did predict that one about a year, two years ago, a big one on the east coast. We're going to get more on the east coast, but in the middle, it's a drop age because around about Ohio, Ohio just got a fall, I think, this morning. Um, so we're going to get see more middle, um, middle section um, EQs, uh, earthquakes. Um, now, of course, they're saying, well, what about here? Well, I unfortunately did say that we are going to be getting far more. But it's going to be more off the off, um, off the coast near Seattle. Don't start freaking out, calling your cousins and everything. But yes, if it's because that whole, um, if you even look at USGS, the Ring of Fire, which is the whole ring from Japan, has um, become very, very active. I did say in the 2013 predictions that you were going to see in certain places um, high earthquakes. In other words, sevens high sixes, sevens, and eights, and what happened? We are having it, and guess what? Next, 2014, we're going to see a smidgen higher. All right, and we are, in the book, I talk about um, why we, you know, it was about 2012, and I used to make a joke, you know, oh, 2012, a lot of people saying we're gonna die, and I said, if I'm wrong, that's okay, I'm dead, I'm not gonna worry about it. But, you know, obviously we survived it, it's nothing to do with that. Um, it's a really about energy, and you know how I read is. By the way, I don't go through angels, guides, or whatever. I go through dimensions. Now, I always ask this question, but how many people think there are only three, maybe four dimensions? That's all. Good. We're there is not exactly an infinite amount of dimensions, but there are. I don't know. I don't want to get into it. It's in a book later. There's lots of dimensions, and that's how I read. That's why my reading's a bit different. But I go into other um, dimensions where I can go backwards, present, and forward, okay? Um, 
you, let's see, I'm just trying to get so many things in in half an hour, so I apologize. Um, the, what else have we got? Any questions, by the way? Yes? I um, hadn't heard of anybody reading the changes. How did you come up about that? I didn't have a choice, it just came. I, nobody taught me, by the way. I do classes, um, and if you're on the list, I'll send it to you. But they, that's how they developed me. Um, it sounds strange, I was kicking and fighting and screaming to do this. I was actually shut down from a three-figure, three three-figure, three three-hundred-figure, three, um, you know, uh, what's it, career to do this. So when you're, you know, certain people, you don't need to worry. Not everybody's going to get shut down completely just to do what you're meant to do. So it's something, it's not, people, all right, what I was talking about is we are going into a dimensional change, okay? Um, and I'm going to go over some signs here. We are facing not only a, um, actually, that is what the 2012 shift is about. It's an energy change. And we are having more dimensions introduced into our existence at the moment. Who here has been feeling that they're actually far more precognitive? Their into high intuition is getting increasing in the last one and a half years. Um, and yeah, big time. You question yourself initially too much. Um, by the way, they're all lined up and I'll get messages in a minute, but I'm trying to get through all of this. Um, but basically, um, who's seen more activity in their houses? And I'm talking about from the other side. Yeah, whether you like it or not, right? You will see that even more so. The veil of change, and that's why these dimensions are actually being integrated into our existence. Um, not only are we facing a, ch um, a change of energy, we are facing a change of a terraformer. A terraformer is a change, physical change of the planet. That is why you're seeing far more earthquakes um, I predicted how many tornadoes that the tornado alley was going to start expanding more to the east coast. Guess what? That is. They're going to see um, um, tornadoes in weirdest places. And I did predict the one in England that, you know, nine, a tornado in England, earthquakes in England. Oh boy, did I get comments like you never believe from Australia. I predicted two years ago and they said, are you crazy in Australia and England? You know. And sure enough, Australia's had about a few hundred to nearly a thousand. Now England's had getting them, and they're being more active as well. So just know that it is a terraformer. And you did know, by the way, when the Japanese earthquake did happen, it moved um, a landmass of 13 feet towards the America. It was so strong, that earthquake, it actually shifted the axis of the Earth. And that is one another reason why we're facing a bit more of the weather. Um, Europe is going to have, I hate to say, uh, far more freezing, uh, lower temperatures, and far more uh, worse um, winter than they've had in a long time. It's last year I predicted it, unfortunately, correctly. So here, but we are going to have experienced more flooding. It's going to be a lot more rain coming in by end of. By the way, this week I did predict a few. About a month ago that it's going to be really warm in the first week of November and then it's going to start going down to normal weather um, for us which other people are laughing about because you know they would just wish to have 70 degree weather 60 or 70 degree weather so we will get into a, the norm by the um, run about two weeks into December um, just before Christmas but it will increase, we're going to get more rain. Remember about a few years ago, we started getting tornadoes and all kinds of this really heavy rain weather in January, February, end of Jan? We're going to get that again. So make sure your roofs are tarred properly and secured. Um, and if you're in a low-lying spot, make sure that there's drainage, okay? Do the, um, the drains on the top. Um, and again, this is all information for you to be prepared in your own home and yourself. Earthquakes. We'll, um, we will see more, more or less in your Belinda, Anaheim, that area, and on the coast of Long Beach, um, and a few more. Oh. <laughs> no, then we look, we look when you said. Oh, okay. Area. And then um, there's uh, what else is there? There's so. Um, I'm trying to give you. A, oh, by the way, here comes the sign. Who here has been seeing more suicides increasing? Who here has been feeling more depression? You don't need to look up. I'm just mentioning it. Far more depression in their um, in their lives. Who here has been getting angry and what I call bit mode, but you know what I mean? 
um, you know, gets, gets snappy and irritable, um, if not themselves, somebody else. Anybody? All right. Who here has been getting sad? As if, you know, it's a sadness that is not anything related to anything, but it's just a sadness. Sleepiness. Who wants to just crawl underneath the table sometime during the day and then go to sleep? Okay. Um, who's been clearing their closets? And clearing their, um, you know, everything. A lot of people. Okay, that is one of the major ones. Who's been thinking, having some of these weird memories pop in their head? And, you know, and it's not relatable to anything you're doing, but it suddenly pops in your head. Now, those ones especially, I would really strongly advocate that you write them down. And it's not to say, oh, I'm going to obsess, oh, why am I thinking of that? And it could be good memories, it could maybe kind of innocuous memories. But I want you to really think about that. Hello. Um, and I don't think we're quite due yet, right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to let you go. Good morning. Um, so basically, um, it is to do with, um, you're all in phase five. I've put phases one, two, three, and four. Who's been, by the way, having things happen in their life? And this is not the best, I'm afraid, but that have just sent them off into, I mean, smacked them in the head so much, it sent them off reeling. That they, you know, an event that's either a medical or a legal or a, some kind of issue. Okay? And I hate to say it, that's happening. Um, <coughs> a, a computer crashing. Yeah, I'm afraid it might twice crash, and they would new um, computer or even a um, car crashes or accident. Okay, and I hate to say this is all phase five, and it should have ended about three months. It's been over a year, and we are coming into phase six now. Let me tell you, phase five is to do with twenty. Um, it's actually a clearing and cleansing process. When you think about everything that's been going on this year, um, and it's not only you know. Don't worry about, and I would like to kind of intersect here, the government and, you know, all that boo-hoo and stuff that's going on. Yes, it's something to worry about, but I would love you to just think about yourselves. Keep it local. You know, the stone in the uh, pond and its ripples. Yes, worry about the ripples. Be cognitive of the ripples. But you know what? Start worrying about yourself. It is you who matter. And once you start thinking about yourself, you'll start really affecting everybody else. And it's you're in massive change. Everybody's in change one way. Who's seeing relationships change? Bad or good, I hate to say it. It will change. These are all changes. And people say, oh, you're just mentioning everything. Well, you know what? That's fine. It doesn't, um, if you don't find an affinity with this, people um, find the YouTube and they don't even know how they find it, but it's in their lap. So just like I always say, classes choose you, and so do does everything else. Okay, messages. Um, you um, do need to take yourself seriously. She doesn't. She believes in you, but you, yeah, yeah. She, you need to start really having far more confidence, whether you like it or not. And you know, um, you, you've got a great. Everybody's getting incredible gifts, but they don't have confidence in themselves, and it's the hardest thing to be. You know, and you're too hypercritical too. That's another thing a lot of people ask. You. And um, but and you're very generous, but sometimes too generous. Oh yes. Okay. So you can get smacked in the head too on that one. But no, seriously. Um, anyway, aside from that, so 2014 is going to be a good change. It it seems that uh, what I've been giving you um, is kind of all negatives, but they're not. You know what happens? I'm sorry. Um, um, what happens when we have change? What is the motivator for change? Anybody know? You know, we're so secure. We have a little security blanket. We've got a remote control for the TV and, you know, the microwave to eat. And we're happy. We've got a comfy chair and we're, we're really rocking it. Something goes wrong. Exactly, fear. Fear is the driver. And they will knock you on your little head and squeeze your head and smack you and wake you up. It's time for change, it's time. And if you say, oh, no, 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 I'm in denial, great, they'll squeeze you harder. And I, that's the Peter, it's, you know, I've been doing a lot of readings recently where it has got worse. And I said, well, you could have 
not made it so difficult on yourself if you've done it before. Yeah, well, I know that now. And I said, well, sorry to put the dot in the eye, you know, on the eye there for you. But it's really about, we know what is wrong. We know that we have to change. And nothing will change, the, uh, stay the same. We have to change. We are in a massive evolution. Not only on a physical sense, we're in an evolution of change in our own, um, on a planetary change. So evolution, whether you like it or not, comes in cycles. Is that true? That's true. Hmm? And you actually do a lot of um, varied studying, don't you? You look at things, you examine things. Um, and do you write articles? Uh, I have in the past. You're not doing it now? No. Ah, oh, naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You've got a very good, um, um, how can I say this? Uh, not only an accurate eye, you've very good at one jaundiced eye on things. You take the negative, but you also take the positive in the way, okay, well, I'll be a devil's advocate and say this. But you do still say your own thing. You still see your own, you should be doing a blog. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you know what? You'll find that a lot of people, remember, we are teachers, but we're also students. And I know you're like, liking just listening and absorbing, but quite frankly, you've got a lot to say. And it's not, um, it's really to drive and stir people up sometimes. You can go right to the end, can't you, on certain days. So think about that. But I am seeing that by February. Okay. A blog or something where people are really um, having a shared, it's a kind of a two-way, but you're more, you're actually 80% out there where you're only receiving 20, but you're going to get a lot of confirmations. But people need to know certain things, aspects, and you do, um, do you follow the earthquake and other things, don't you, that I'm seeing? So those are kind of hot subjects, and it's not just a subject, people are worried about it. And that's why my videos, uh, not because I have to go viral, but they're a you know, huge amount, because people are looking for solvable solutions. And the book, it's called The Epoch Succession, will be out, but it's also going to give you a ton of exercises, and I'm really got, going to maybe do it as an addendum, if anybody wants it, a, a video of it as well, not the book, but the exercises. Because I hate those books when they say, oh, by the way, this X, Y, Z is going to happen, and then they leave you in the lurch. What do I do if X, Y, Z happens? And they don't give you the exercises. So I'm going to give you exercises to try and help yourself out, OK? Um, 2014 is going to be a good change in the way where you'll find, and you've already started seeing this a tiny bit in a thread, and I think you've seen it, where people are actually banding together. They're not going to let the, you know, the gunman come in and hit, like that incredible hero, the teacher who put themselves in front of all the children. They're not going to uh, say, oh, you know, don't look at me. I don't want to be responsible for things. They're going to actually step forward. You're going to see more acts of bravery, um, but not only for recognition, and it's not for them to be, um, you know, touted this and that. It's not that. It's for them to say they're stepping up for themselves. And that is an incredibly powerful uh, thing because they're empowering other people to do the same thing. You're going to see children that have um, are being far more motivated to do the right thing. Um, on the other hand, I hate to say this, other children who are very, very, um, and I said this, um, and in the book it says that you'll see more suicides in the last two years, and I think you, you may not have heard of all of them, obviously, from eight, eight, young as eight years old to 24, which is what I think a child is, is 24. Um, even as much as 28, quite frankly, with certain people. Um, so they get, um, there's suicidal attempts and um, because they don't have the answers. They're growing far more, uh, kind of forced to grow quicker, um, far more quicker than they want to. Society's really pushing it. Um, so be there, and I'm more advocating that um, from now until whenever, Please listen to other people. Please uh, share, um, you know, if you feel somebody just needs to, hey, not even a hug if they don't want to be physical. In England, you don't. You're very proper. But, you know, just say, hey, I, I, you know, is there something you need? Is there somebody you need to be, you know, can I call somebody? Don't feel, because there are a lot of depressed people and sadness out there. And because people are so, um, no, I don't want to be bothered with you. And you're, you know, you're getting that constant, um, 
you know, roaring in your head about that. Any other questions? No, we're just rolling on. This terraforming, how much longer it, before we get okay. a certain pattern? Of All right, I hate to say it. You know it's to do with the um, reverse polarity. And it doesn't go like a light switch. Some people, oh, yeah, it'll happen next year. Or something. Hello. No, it isn't. It's a, it's a slow process. And it's part of the terraformer where the north is uh, south, south is north, so it's going to be a long time. But remember, when you think about it, evolution, it, it goes for a million, not million, yeah, some, well, millions of years, some happen. But this one is going to um, be significant for about 45 to 50 years. But it's not going to be, sl it's going to be slow, uh, fast for the next two and a half to three years, and then slow down, as if to kind of, let me take a breath, and then it will start back up again after about two years. So you'll see that pattern. But you know, when we start getting really knowing, um, knowingly about um, like Japan's earthquakes, they're going to increase a lot more. I hate to say Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Taiwan. That area is very, very active. It's going to go far more active. Don't worry about tsunamis. Um, not, not next year so much but um, that it will be part of that terraformer. You'll find that animals are going to start changing behavior too. Are you, anybody manage, um, have pets? They're seeing differences in animal behavior and they're getting more sensitized as if you're talking to them and they actually are nodding and saying, yeah, I agree, you know? Yeah. I don't like that one reality TV either. Yeah, like, Did I? No. But it's kind of like that. It sounds weird, but I'm trying to tell you that you're going to see far more re um, reaction to animals that you, um, they're kind of spookily, kind of, oh, I know what you're talking about. And um, so be careful if you do talk to about them behind their back. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> and they can get even. But no, you will see it far more. You'll see, I hate, uh, hate to say more, um, you know, um, other things going on on the planet. And this is all addressed in the book as much as I could. The book's about this big, actually. I have to kind of hone it down to it in about 12 sections. But it'll be about this um, big. At least the most important ones, and I'll do subsequent um, sections later, but bees are going to be a lot of big, you're going to see far more fish dying, um, I hate to say it, but you really need to know that certain, and this is addressed in the book as well, um, oceans are also dying, and this is what I'm worried about. Tides, there are tidal changes by the way, and I'm not talking just west coast, but we're talking about other coasts as well. So be aware of your environment and not to say start panicking. Information is actually um, really good and proactive if you use it proactively. Fear is of the unknown. So if you educate yourself, not over-educate, oh God, I have to watch this, that, that, and the other. Remember what I told you earlier in this lecture. You start worrying about yourself. Okay, don't worry about other people or the bigger econ the economy is coming back. Yes, they um, end to, um, tend to, you know who, tend to self-sabotage because they're playing their personal agendas. You're going to see far more selfish people, by the way. All right? You're going to see people who just are off for themselves, personal agendas, promotion, and it's shameless promotion. And um, you know, those people are going to be kind of wiped away. And you'll know, trust your intuition. This is all I'm telling you. And in the book, I make, you know, just like the exercise I made you work when you first came in, um, you're going to work in the book too. I'm gonna to make, push you to start increasing your intuition. All right, and there's lots of other links. And if you want you, as I said, come and sign the book and I'll send you all the other books. And if there's no other question, am I late or am I okay? Because I think that was a bit fast. I don't like to be rude to anybody. No, it's not. We're good? Okay, so candle lesson. There is a thing on the candle lesson. I can't give you a colors. You can email me. I, if you're reading all over the world, they're not in front of me. I deal with energy, not obviously physicality. So the candle lesson, I've seen more miracles than I've ever seen before. And I can't even explain the miracles. So the candle, um, I will send you the link um, on it. 
Um, and you, if you want your color, if I'm free downstairs, I'll gladly give you color. And then um, it's about their caveats. If you don't ask, you don't get. <laughs> okay? And um, that's really it. I better shut down here. Thank you so much for your evening. <laughs>